segment of Big Bang Theory All's BTS vlog. Let's start off with our time and date stamp. It is 12 hours, well, <laughs> it is 5 hours and 12 minutes into the day of Friday, October 28th, 2016. And I had gotten up around 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had was feeling really thirsty. And so I got up, had uh, uh, another glass of milk tea. So that seems to be my standard. My, is, my milk tea is, is my standard. It's the uh, the herbal tea that I brew. It's got uh, made with uh, dates, loganberries, uh, Honeysuckle and uh, Hawthorne. And I just finished another, a 20 liter batch. I should be making some more tomorrow. And that means I'll be adding. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of a, a, a change up and add some cocoa uh, to the brew mixture. So, and it does, it, it brews for about five hours. It's a, it's a five hour brew. Uh, it's 20, liter, 20 liters. So, uh, it, it, it actually produces some pretty good flavor, so, uh, it, it lasts about a month, uh, before I have to make some new, some more, so, uh, it, it is, for me, uh, uh, one of my, it's one of my favorite drinks now, actually. Uh, I've prefer, I prefer that over pop or anything else, so, that's what I, this my, it's become my primary drink. So that's what I got. I just had that. Uh, watch some vlogs. Uh, I find some of the, some of the vlogs kind of interesting to watch, and particularly some of the uh, the ones I watch are uh, called, called Kid Tube. These are uh, uh, vlogs uh, done by uh, kids, basically between the ages of uh, uh, ten and uh, thirteen. Most of them are girls. Uh, the guys don't. The the guys are well. They're typically guys. And there's not much for the, they don't say that much. And so for the, for the girls who are more expressive about these things and they they want to be more social, uh, this is their sort of their outlet to do things. And so they're actually quite interesting because they have their <clears throat> uh, particular personalities, and they, a lot of their personality comes out in these videos. And the way they think about it, 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 it this is for me what I consider to be my uh, to be entertaining is, is that is not. No, not so much the situation or that they're doing something exciting it's the personality that, that that seems to sort of really draw my interest and so this is sort of the situation here is that they they uh this one i'm watching is called annie vlogs and, and she's a she very enthusiastic very uh, uh very bubbly in terms of her personality and what i would say is, is it would be typical you know a typical tween. Uh, I don't think she's thirteen yet, but the thing is, uh, she's in between that sort of that, that between the nine and thirteen, the nine and twelve. I call it guess that tween stage. I think that's where she is. And it, her personality just 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 is sort of like uh, it's hard to sort of express, but the, you can sort of see that in many ways, you know, she does a lot of random things. Her when a thought pops into her head. It comes in immediately and draws her focus. You can sort of see here, you know, she's doing one thing. All of a sudden, she thinks of something. She's back, you know, and then she focuses on that new thing that should have just popped into her head immediately. So, it, it, this is why I find this kind of 
interesting because she's not. This isn't isn't being put on. This is sort of a natural state, a natural uh, sort of existence, and I find it interesting. So that's what I was watching. That um, bizarrely enough, um, uh, I've been having these. Uh, I guess call them death dreams. Normally, in, your, in when you're sleeping, you're not supposed to die in your sleep, or uh, uh, they say that's not so good. But uh, I've been dying in my sleep, but in my dreams uh, since I was about 15, 16 years old. Uh, when I first started having them, they were kind of uh, put me in this sort of uh, very bizarre state or mood. Uh, because there's a lot to think about. That's a, I'm the type of person, I remember all my dreams. I do a, something called lucid dreaming where I'm aware of what's happening in my dreams. And I remember them. And this is it. So th just a few hours ago when I was sleeping, uh, I had two dreams in which I was murdered. <laughs> and it's, it's a bizarre part. The thing is that I've gotten to the point now where, I, okay, I, I know that at some point in time it's going to happen. These dreams are going to happen. And it's sort of, it's gone past the point where you're initially terrified to the point where you're watching the person who's going to murder you. And it's, 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 it's the, the, person seems to be very real. It's not a, it's sort of not a cartoonish type of thing that you've seen in the cartoons or in sort of these flashbacks. Uh, and sometimes these people you have no idea who they are. I don't think I've ever met these people before. And yet, they're present in your dream and they're going to murder you. The thing is, I've always become aware that in my dream that I don't actually die. I keep my awareness. I keep my sort of existence. And so although they are going to do what they're going to do, the consequences are not going to be that severe because I know I'm going to stay alive afterwards and not necessarily feel any pain. So there's like, well, well, that's they're going to do what they're going to do. And it is it is it's it's a bizarre sense because they need to get up and have I said I had something to drink, uh, watch some uh, some some YouTube, and now I'm going back to bed again. Now what's coming up next? I have no idea. But this this is kind of is it, it, it most of my dreams make me think. They make sort of put an idea in my head. They sort of say, okay, let's start. Well, why does this happen? What, what's going on here? Uh. And I suppose in some cases that dreams are a learning experience. They teach you things. Certainly, certainly they teach you things about yourself, about your own emotions. I mean, but the thing is, and beyond that, where does these, where does this guy come from? Uh, how did I get into the situation that I was in? I mean, one was, uh, the last one was, uh, um, being left in an old age home. I was an old man. Older than I was, am now. And someone had left me in, my, in the old age. They uh, dropped me off and just, are now gone. And this guy walks in, kind of in a, in a sort of a gray stripe uh, prison suit. And proceeds to set me on fire. That this is the, this is the dream. But the thing is, is that the f I didn't feel any pain from the flames. I didn't feel like I was that you know that. And then he just leaves. And the thing is, it seems like in the dream that I was there for days before before someone came and sort of checked on me. And when they did come and check on me, they realized that it was a mistake, that I shouldn't have been there. 
and they were going to take me to my house. And apparently, I lived in England. So <laughs> the thing is, I, this this is the bizarre part of it. You know, when were they ever in England? I've never been to England, so. But yet, the structure was there, everything, you know, everything was more or less there. And this is the, this is the bizarre part of the dream, is that I'd ne I've never been to London, so. Yeah. So, it, you know, th this is sort of where, you know, you scratch your head and go, well, okay. You get up, take some notes, did some, did some work on the editing bay. I've got uh, another episode in the editing bay uh, rendering right now, so that when I get up, uh... I'll have two episodes done. Uh, I think it was 96 and 97 uh, will be, uh, those episodes will be done. And I'll be starting to doing my uploads uh, later on in the day. But I said, we'll see where it happens, where things go. Uh, anyways, back to bed, back to sl sleeping again. My body is still a little sore from walking, but that's the usual, it's typical. So... I will see you in the next segment of Big Bang Theory or BTS Law because there is no night, there is no day. Sometimes, yeah, I am going to bed at night. Sometimes I am getting up in the morning, but not always. Not. And so it's simply welcome to the next segment of Big Bang Theory or BTS Vlog and see you in the next episode or the next uh, segment of uh, Big Bang Theory or BTS Vlog. That's what it is. That's your. That's the standard. No good night. No good morning. Just one. In many cases, one continuous day. All right. See you next episode. Next segment. <laughs> Not a next episode. Kind of think this is a better shot. Anyways, uh, good morning, sorta. Of. <laughs> Welcome to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Real's BTS vlog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I start talking, there comes the on. Uh, anyways, uh, it is uh, 16 hours and 5 minutes into the day of uh, uh, Friday, October 28th, 2016. And I'm not just actually getting up. I got up around noon. I'm just sort of here to get my day started, actually. Uh, put some socks on and uh, gonna put my jacket on. So I thought I'd start here at the beginning, uh, uh, where I usually start, rather than over uh, at the uh, research desk. Uh, last night I did. I said I did get up. Uh, I got uh, one another rent another episode rendered. Uh, when I got up this, when I got up this morning, I went to the uh, editing desk. And uh, just now put an another one is just started rendering now. I did some work on the Kawhi Gaming. Uh, so I got getting that more off the ground. Uh, so that was kind of what's been happening now. And what's next is breakfast. I, was, I got up around <laughs> noon. But now it's uh, 4 o'clock. So there was a four-hour delay to breakfast. This this happens sometimes. You delay your meals if you've got other things on on the schedule. You do the work on the schedule first, then you eat. And so, uh, breakfast has been put off until just about now four o'clock. So I'm having breakfast at four o'clock in the afternoon. So, <laughs> but this is this is the way things go. I'm I'm used to this. I'm used to this is the lifestyle I'm used to actually. Uh, so, uh. I don't mind it because it's this is my normal, if you will. Uh, so I have to sort of uh, I had to sort of also had to reboot my router, router today. My router had to be rebooted because the uh, Wi-Fi uh, every once in a while for some reason the Wi-Fi seems to go down and uh, I don't know why it turned itself off, but it did, and so uh, the, uh, the the router needed to be rebooted. So. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good. This, well, it should have been a pretty good uh, 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 router from Western Digital. It's a high-speed router. It does a pretty decent job, but the problem is sometimes the uh, Wi-Fi uh, has some problems and it goes down. I don't know why it goes down. I don't know why it turns itself off, but it does. 
And but the, 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 the solution is really simple. You simply reboot the rotor, and once the rotor has been rebooted, uh, then you're uh, up and going again, and there's no problem. So it happens, it happens maybe once every two months or something like that. So it's not a bad thing necessarily that you can work around it. So until uh, I get enough uh, enough of an income, enough of a, 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 a sort of a cushion. Right now, I'm trying to bring down some of my debts. Uh, once I've done that enough, then maybe I can get into the router and uh, see if I can sort of improve upon the uh, the sort of the metrics of what's uh, actually happening in the system. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of what has to be hap what has to be done next. But uh, I think before that happens, I've got to do a network audit, uh, see how I've allotted the different spaces on the network. Then once the network on is done, then proceed uh, from there to uh, write up a script for uh, getting a new uh, router in there. So that's not too much of a hassle in terms of uh, uh, setting it up again. So, Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now. Then This is sort of the beginning of the vlog. And it is now time for breakfast to make, make myself something to eat. Oh. I'll see you in a few hours. And for the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, uh, Big Bang Theory RL's uh, BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Welcome back, everyone. It is time for another uh, segment of uh, Big Bang Theory RL's BTS vlog. And there it almost happened again. Almost needed the yawn, but I was able to swallow it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a swallow, and uh, everything seems to be all right so far. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 13 hours and 2 minutes into the day of Saturday, October 29th, 2016. And so that's happy birthday to me because it's my birthday today. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm up, sort of. <laughs> We'll see what happens today in terms of my fatigue levels and stuff like that. I'm still feeling kind of in between ish. But then that's kind of a normal cause because, as I said before, I, was, uh, I did the vlog last night in the middle of the night, more or less. Um, my mind is always thinking, even when I'm sleeping. I, you know, I More dreams again uh, today, uh, or actually earlier. Uh, And they never seem to be normal. They're n they're never normal. Um, on other people, sometimes. Uh, it's been on other planets. And it's the only consistency that I can sort of see in the dreams are my emotions. In other words, uh, it's the um, a, a lot of the dream. Uh, sort of seems to hinge on the emotions that I have. So that's what seems to be the driver. The driver of the dream seems to be uh, the emotions that I have and how I respond emotionally to whatever particular scenario is going on. That's what it is. It's, it's either I come to some form of, sort of understanding emotionally about what's going on or I don't. And that's when the dream ends. Is is it's, it's, it's the when the when the final emotion appears and occurs. That's when the dream ends. It's, so it's, it's it's that's what I'm saying. It's, it seems to be centered around this emotion, around these emotions, uh, and then goes from there on out. Sometimes the dreams are the same thing and. They'll have repeats of the same dream. Others are are different, and is you can never sort of really sort of predict where the dreams are going to go. And anyways, I guess that's the way my life is too. Is that there is no prediction on where my life is going to go because uh, if I'm out doing the open exploration, because I did the uh, uh, why I vlog last night as well, uh, talked about the nature of the universe. And uh, if doing this type of work where you're doing ex open exploration of the universe, uh, then there is no fundamental end to what you're doing. You're not going to have any degree of certainty to it because you're always supposed to be out in the uh, in the unknown. And so your level of certainty is kind of uh, 
uh, <laughs> uh, let's say m minimal at best. And the thing is, you never know exactly how things are going to turn out because, you know, how do you know the unknown? And you don't. So you kind of get, it is a, if people have, and, I, and I say to people, it's not that you get used to it. So, oh, you must be getting used to it by now, is it? Because I've been doing it for so long. And the thing is, is it's not that I'm used to it. I'm just simply used to the feeling. The feeling, the feeling of how of, of feeling uncertain becomes normal to you. And so, you know, so the it not, and it does, it's not that, that it doesn't surprise you or, or you begin to think harder. You know, last night I was in that surreal, surreal, surrealistic phase that set a that state of mind. And is it I've had that before. And it just makes me think harder. And it, 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 it it's basically the, the state of surrealism is a very deep think type of thing. And it doesn't... So, so when I am in that tired stage, when in, the, in that fatigue stage, it's not that I'm thinking less, I'm actually thinking more. It bizarrely enough slows down the world. It slows down... My world has slowed down. And I notice things in the perspective uh, that are around me that I typically don't see. In other words, well, on a, on a, on a normal basis. Like, so when I'm in a surrealistic mode, things in many, in many cases seem like they're uh, moving in slow motion. Other things seem like the depth of, and the colors... Uh, seem to be, his colors seem to be brighter, uh, uh, woods seem to be harder, you know, the edges seem to be harder, uh, the way I touch and feel things changes as well, uh, and as I said, it, it, it is a whole body experience, it's, it's something that's, that, that's together with the mind, so it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a sort of a complete experience, it's not one thing or another, like whether it's like a touch or a sense or a, you know, or a smell or something. It's everything, the, the taste, smell, everything, uh, my touch, all the senses seem to be on this sort of heightened plane, if you will. Heightened, sen sen heightened sensitivity. And that's the way I respond to the world around me at that in these particular points in time. And it can happen at any point in time during the day. You know, I could be, that's what I'm saying, I could be up fine now. Uh, I just kind of woke up and, and, and got up. That's kind of what I say, sort of morning, because it's not that I plan to get up. I plan to get up at this point in time. I just got up and started milling around, and that's so. This is the beginning of the day, sort of. I'm making some pizza for breakfast, and <laughs> this is my breakfast. And then we'll see where the day takes me from there. I've done a, a large chunk of the editing now. I've got to offload some more clips now for the next uh, edit, for the next uh, set of edits. Uh, I've got to do some of the descript description write-up, so I've got to start pushing things up to the computer that does the upload, so that has to be done. So there is work that's going to be done today, but it's, I don't know what pace it's going to be done at. This is the whole thing, though. Uh, and then I have to work on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. I have, to work on, I have to do work on the Bash Channel. I have to do work on INN. And I'm hoping to get to do some some filming work for uh, Core IT House TV. So we'll see how that comes along as well. So uh, <laughs> these are all things that are all, all planned. You plan to do them. You know, uh, they're on the schedule. But if I get to them or not, don't know. It really depends on what happens after I have my pizza. <laughs> if I stay up and continue on doing things bit by bit, but yeah, it's going to be a good day. If I don't, then it will probably stretch out through all night long and, you know, it'll probably be one of those days where I'm doing a little bit of work here, a bit of doing a bit of work there, but no, nothing sort of scheduled, not in a sort of, in a, in a, sort of a, a, a continuous sequence of time or con continuous sequence of projects. Uh, so that's kind of the way things are right now and uh, I will see you in the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory or all BTS vlog. All right. See, eh, probably in a couple hours. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Alice BTS vlog. Yeah, it's turning out to be another one of those bumpy days again. 
But it's not that bad. Things are getting done. Um, a lot of the organizing work is done. I've got now. I've got all the episodes, all the way up to episode ninety nine, here on the uh, uh, on the this part of the editing desk that does the description. Uh, I have them all sort of lined up. I have another INN uh, Tweetline Plus ready to go. Uh, and so let me give it a time and date stamp. It is uh, 21 hours and 19 minutes into the day of Saturday, October 29th, 2016. And I'm doing what the average uh, kid would do. I'd be wa I'm watching YouTube. YouTube is now my main uh, entertainment source, so that's what I watch. I have my favorite YouTubers like uh, Retaily, uh, Our Family Nest, Clintus TV, Shaytars, of course. Um, then there's Annie's vlog here that I'm watching now, and, and uh, Hope's vlogs. There are two girls in Texas that, that have a pretty interesting vlog out there. And again, it's, 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 it's not about the interesting things they do do necessarily. It's about the, the interaction between the various different personalities that are in the vlog. This is it. it the more personal the, vlog, the, the vlogger is, or the, the person on camera, the better it is, and so and that way you would, that way you can sort of see the interaction between the various different characters and and, and with the various different people, and uh, that's something I really do enjoy. So, uh, <laughs> I'm happy for that. I'm happy that I've got these this good replacement. Actually, I've got so much content that I've got to, uh, too much content to watch. Actually, so it's hard time. It's hard always to keep up with everything. Anyways. Uh, the next batch of tea, 21 liters, is now brewing. Uh, it won't be finished until 1 o'clock. I'll unplug it and turn it off, the system off, at uh, just about 1 o'clock in the morning will be the will, will be the, uh, the finished time. And then uh, from there on out, it's about it will take 12 to 14 hours to cool down before I can bottle it. And uh, that I have to do, uh, I set up a new filter filtration system uh, in the bottling process that uh, allows me to give a good filter to a tea, so it, it ends up working out very well. Because what happens there's a lot of raw materials, and sometimes the materials spill out of their containers, the the, the uh, metal containers, and so the the tea isn't as clear as it should be, so it does need to be filtered. So that's uh, what I endeavored to do. Is I endeavored to fill out, and I've worked out a system so that I can actually uh, I can I can bottle it easily without dealing too too much with uh, a a clogged up filter system. So that's the way I'm going to approach it. And so far, it seems to be working all right. Uh, and so I'll be doing the same process again on uh, t uh, basically. Sunday evening, so because I won't be back here after I go to church tomorrow. Ugh. There's church, excuse me. There's church. There's uh, then uh, I'm going to my parents' house for my birthday, and so by the time I get back here, it probably won't be until five, six o'clock in the evening, and that's when I'll do the uh, bottling for the uh, tea. So. Yay for that! <laughs> uh, and uh, I think this is how you, how you do things. You chop things up into bits and pieces, and uh, you do them piece by piece. And so I think that's kind of the way I'll be doing things, kind of from now on. Is get is getting things done bit by bit. Even though I don't necessarily get everything done that I want to get done, there is progress in these sort of very slow days uh, when you're feeling uh, rather fatigued. So, anyways. Uh, I do have a bit. Well, I do have. I have a significant bit of work to do to sort of uh, get things in in a position that I like them better. So, uh, it's gonna be a sort of a a bit of a grind until Monday. We'll see as m how much I can actually get done, and then I'll go from there. So Monday will be the sort of uh, the rehash day where I look at everything I've done, look at what was what what occurred over the weekend. Where work was done, see if there's any reorganizing that needs to be done, and then sort of move uh, the schedule or adjust the schedule as necessary. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I think I'll leave this here, and I will talk to you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory.
Big Bang Theory or else BTS luck. All right, take it easy and have a good day. Democratic Earth. Earth.